guys, what is up? My name's Cassie and welcome to my channel. Today I am coming at you guys with the most requested video I've gotten in a while. And it is what to do when you're bored at home because we're all kind of at home right now. It's definitely a different experience for most of us, so I decided to research some things that you can do and share them with you guys. And also another super exciting part about this video is that it is a collab with one of my really good YouTube friends, Erica. I absolutely love Erica and her channel. She's one of the most genuine people here on YouTube and you definitely need to check out her videos. Her videos are like crazy good quality and she's just extremely underrated in general. You should definitely go check her out, her Instagram, and her channel and her video and everything will be linked in the description box so after you're done watching this video make sure to go check her out yeah I definitely don't want to be rambling on in this intro so let's just get started write a letter to a close friend you can either mail it or just give it to them when you see them next in person paint your nails reorganize apps on your phone clean your mirror I don't know about you, but I always forget to do this, even though it's extremely satisfying afterwards. Go through everybody you are following or subscribed to on YouTube or Instagram. You can either find new people to subscribe to or just unsubscribe from people you haven't watched in a while. Do a crazy makeup look. I would never be able to do this, but if you're a makeup artist or a wannabe someday, definitely give it a try. If you can, get outside and go on a walk. This can be super relaxing and it's just good to get some fresh air after being inside all day. Start a YouTube channel. This will take up probably the most time out of all of these if you're really dedicated to it. I find myself like all of my time is kind of eaten up by this, but it's definitely a ton of fun. If you're extremely desperate, you can text all of your contacts. Get ahead on some homework. Even if you've done everything you have to do today, maybe you have an upcoming project that you need to finish. Why not spend some time on that? Find new podcasts or listen to podcasts. You guys all know how I feel about this. I absolutely am obsessed with podcasts. And um, if you ever need podcast suggestions or you have some for me, definitely comment them down below because... I'm always looking for new podcasts. Practice or learn a new instrument. Whether you have a piano in your house, try learning some new songs or learning some new songs on the guitar or the ukulele, whatever you have around you. Okay, this one might be my favorite. Go ahead and binge watch all of my videos and Erica's videos. You can even go back to my videos four years ago. They're pretty cringy. You'll never hear me advertise them ever again. Go watch them. They're hilarious. Go through and clean out your backpack. I feel like this is a really good thing to do right now, so when you go back to school, you can have a fresh start. Go through all of your emails. Me personally, that might take hours and hours of my time because I have thousands of email notifications that I have yet to go through. Go through your closet and get rid of old clothes. I actually have a video on this and it will be linked in the description box if you guys want to check it out. Create a wall collage. Do a face mask. I don't know about you, but I always have face masks in my room that I always tell myself, oh, I'll get around to it. Like, I want to save it for something special. Well, you're special, so go ahead and use that face mask. It'll be really relaxing. Start a bullet journal. This definitely takes up a ton of time. Watch the sunrise or the sunset with no distractions. Use it as a time to relax or to reflect. Create a new smoothie recipe. It's pretty easy to create a recipe for smoothies. The recipe I'm doing here has three blood oranges, one and a half of a banana, and half an apple. And then you just add some water or ice. And then you just have this delicious smoothie. Learn a new language. This doesn't have to be a huge deal. You can just learn a couple words. I personally use Duolingo from time to time and I would definitely recommend it. Do an at-home workout. There's a ton of free videos on YouTube of people showing you a workout routine, so there's definitely no excuse. It's time to get fit for the summertime. Take a nap. This always makes the time go by faster. 
So those are all of the ideas I have for you guys, but if you're looking for the other 25 plus, those will be on Erica's channel. So like I said, it'll be linked in the description box, so go check it out, go watch it, you will not be disappointed. Kind of fangirling that I'm collabing with her, not gonna lie, because her quality is up here, guys. You can't even see the top of her quality. It's that good, so definitely go check her out. Yay. I think that is absolutely all I have for you guys for this week, so I love you guys so, so much. Make sure to subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Stay safe.